Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of Mad Max. We just got destroyed by a bunch of defenses. And they weren't even buffed defenses, they were just defenses. We got killed really easy by them. These cars look really tough. Oh, I don't want to get rammed by that guy. No! Oh my god, my car. It's almost dead again. This place is really tough so far. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I just died again. I literally just respawned, so that I, I lived for about 30 seconds there. Um, good way to start an episode, I guess. Getting destroyed by the AI is always really telling of your skills. I do think we're a bit outclassed, though. So, yeah. As this reloads, I'm pretty sure we're going to struggle a lot. But I'm pretty sure the, the reason we died so quick last episode is because I think I got too close to the actual defenses themselves when I was just sniping, so we got blasted. So, uh, I'm going to try this again, and hopefully a posse of insanely armored vehicles doesn't come along and destroy me before I can try again. So, let's try again. This is where we gotta go. Oh, no wonder, it's a five-star base. The hardest thing I've done is three-star, so, uh... Kill the top dog. Yeah, this might be really tough. You gotta try it, though. Try it for real. So, uh... Let's get out there and try it again. I'm going to basically stand way away from the base before I snipe it. You can snipe from pretty far away, so that's what I'm going to do. There's a guy up here. Kind of stinks him out of ammo, too. Can I just... Can I not do anything to this car? I guess not. Uh, I guess we'll just drive away, then. I've also never seen a vehicle with two sets of armor. I've defeated uh, vehicles with one set of armor, but I've never even seen ones with two sets. So we gotta have our defenses really high to take those guys out. And I was getting sniped from over there by those big rusty canisters. That's where I was getting sniped from, by the base. So these snipers are pretty insane. Let's get back here, right where we died before, a very smart area to camp, and let's see about sniping those guys. Those are flame pipes, thunderstick launcher, oh my gosh, what the heck is that thing? I don't even know what that is. If I just continue to die, I'll definitely cut it out, but, you know, like, cut it out of the video, but, um, we have to start somewhere. Oh, there's a sniper. Hey, buddy. Hey, you want to die? Yep, okay, you're dead. Yay, more cars to blow us up. Go, 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 go. 
This is terrible. I don't think we're going to be able to, like, actually escape these guys or anything. I'm getting some pretty good frame lag, too. That was interesting. Alright, I'm literally just going to run and hide. Because these guys are insane. Oh, that's, I didn't mean to do that. Please don't come and destroy me. Yep, they're coming to destroy me. Yep, thank you. Yep, just, just chase me down. Gosh, you gotta be jerks. I think I'm getting some lag here. I don't know why. I'm getting like 15 frames per second. This is weird. Uh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die again. Big time. can't walk onto their tires. Oh, that guy jumped on my car. Alright, I'm just gonna get him off. What is this lag? Oh, okay. That did something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm getting lag right now. Low FPS, at least. Oh, these guys are gonna kill me. Oh, that... That Thunderpoon did almost nothing. Go out there and fix it. I'll distract them. Oh, that's not good. That's not good either. You can dodge these guys pretty well. It's hard to do it when there's two of them coming at you. Well, that did more damage to it. Great. Oh, ran me over again. Well done. Yeah, how about I beat you up now? Nothing without your car, are you? Alright, so, we're going to take this nice and slow. I think once I get inside the base, I'll be much better off. Because so I can definitely handle myself in a fist fight, more so than a car fight, when these guys are way outclassing me. It's going to be so tricky getting in, into the base, though, because those, those defenses are super strong. Like, ridiculously strong. Uh, so first thing I gotta do is find all the snipers. Second thing is take out those thunderstick launchers or whatever the heck they are. And third thing I gotta do is take out the, uh, the fireball launchers and the, the, what do you call them? The, it's like a flamethrower. You know what I mean. Is that it? Oh, there's a sniper. Oh, there's a war crier in there, too. We're gonna definitely have to take him out. But I need to find ammo first. Yeah, those things are gonna kill me. I can't even walk onto them. Okay, so let's try this one last time. Well, not last at all. Probably one more time. I'm gonna try and be as stealthy as possible. Hoping not to get blown up. Let's see what this is. I'm gonna snipe it if I can. I think we have to use our... Uh, thunder poon against that. Thunder stick, though. I don't know what that is. That could very well be a legitimate RPG, so I really don't know. What? Perimeter... Apparently it's already buffed. Okay. Yeah, let's kind of get out of here. Oh, excuse me, car. Oh, we're in a land field. Or a land 
minefield is what I meant to say. And there's more cars on the way, lovely. Do they see us? Hopefully not. They're going the opposite way, so. That wasn't the sniper. How about that? No, that wasn't him either. It looks like he's right there. I could have sworn I hit the red spot on the dude's body, but I guess not. I think these snipers actually do damage to my car, which is not cool. Not at all. I'm going to try and shoot him again, just because uh, just because we have no choice but to take him out at long range. That's so weird. I, ow, I just got hit. Go back in the car. This is stressful. Partially figuring out this base and trying not to die every second. Finally got him. Oh my gosh. Now I'm out of sniper ammo, so hopefully we don't need it for something else. I wasted a good few bullets on that. This is dangerous. Yeah, if that guy rams me, I'm definitely going to die. God, I'm getting a lag. Oh my gosh. I can tell there's a lot going on, but... Jeez, though. Oh, my car's about to die. No, 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 no. Oh, great. Oh, no, you're gonna kill me. Yep, finish me off. Oh, my gosh. There's no way I'm surviving. I can't even get up. There's three cars I gotta dodge, and I can't move. Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Don't run me over. Oh, my gosh. Look, I have zero health. If I get hit once, I'm gonna die. Okay, these guys are nothing, at least. Smash your head into the ground. Thank you. I almost want to take their vehicles in there. But I knew I wouldn't survive either. Oof, this is tough. I got one more of these. And there's definitely more than one defense I have to take out. Uh, I'm going to circle back around this way. Gosh, it's more just avoiding the cars than anything. Wait a minute, what was that? Is this a door I can blast open? No, I don't think so. If it was, I was definitely going to go in that way. Oh god, what are those? This is insane, this is like warfare. Look at how far the range is on those things. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm out of thunder sticks. Not thunder sticks. I'm out of thunder poons. So, uh, this is insane. Alright, well, I think I'm going to cut here and go back to Jeets, fill up on ammo, and then come back and settle this with these guys. Alright, guys, so I'm back here. Oh, I got to destroy the wires. Um, I'm here at the balloon base right there. Uh, the base that killed us a few times was right here, or still is right there, and uh, so I'm going to use this balloon to kind of spot the areas around in hopes of finding some useful stuff. 
because um, it's quite a ways away from anything that I can... Oh, there's another guy. Alright, so... Back to what I was saying. Can I dismantle these? No. Gotta use a car. Um, it's better that we have some place to fast travel to, like this balloon base. It's pretty close. Um, rather than Jeets. Um, just so we can get back in the action quicker if we do end up running back to get ammo. I think I can... Oh, I can just harpoon this. Duh. Now, the balloon is locked down right now, so I'm taking these things off. So I can fly the balloon up. And then I can see what's going on. Alright, so... Let's fly on up and see what there is to see. I do like the change in atmosphere though, it's very cool. I love that you can see everything around you. It's very awesome. Fortified Scarecrow. There's the bridge, Stank Gum Camp. Sniper. Fortified Scarecrow again. There's a death run over there. Anything else? Anything? No, we came from there. That's the jaw we just passed. Uh, I don't think there's anything over there. A sniper, Scarecrow. Another camp. A few more. Okay, so that's about it in the area. This is called the Knit Sack. And yeah, that's about it. Alright. And if you don't know the connection already between Stank Gum and Gastown, is that uh, Scabrus Scrotus, the leader of Gastown, who we almost killed, he turns out to still be alive, I'm pretty sure. Um, Stank Gum is basically his lieutenant, um, except Stank Gum supposedly is more powerful than Scabrus is at the moment, and he's just using him as a figurehead so that he doesn't get assassinated instead of him, if that makes sense. So basically he's the lieutenant, but he's not going to be assassinated first. And once Scabrus dies, he's going to find someone else to take his place. So he's never on the front line, but he's, he's doing the dirty work. So that's pretty much who Stank Gum is. And clearly he's pretty... He's a tough customer. We'll just leave it at that. So. Oh, and something else I should do is upgrade my Thunderpoon to level 3. Increase the damage. That'll definitely come in handy right about now. Definitely. I'm just going to go buy these snipers. I don't really care at the moment. They can shoot me if they want. I wonder if I can take out these scarecrows. It says fortified, but I'm not really... Oh, that was interesting. Oh, lovely. <laughs> he just crashed. I don't think we can take that one out, so I'm going to heal my car now. Or not, not heal, but fix, you know what I mean. So, yeah, everything's getting a lot tougher. I gotta step up my game. 
We're jumping up, taking out a three-star base, which I thought was hard to take out a five-star base. I think... I do believe we can get through it. I just think it might take one entire episode. Which would be next episode. So, uh... Yep. Let's get our explosives out and ready to fire. Um, Be vigilant for the boom boom fields in this region. Speaking of that, there's a minefield right there. The uh, I'm just gonna spy out this place. Yes, I will protect your sake. Once more. But don't be long, please. Flame pipe is what they're called. Thunder stick launcher. We gotta take that out first. I think that's it. Okay. That's the first time I've used the binoculars other than inside the air balloon. Just because we're getting serious with things. I can't just drive into a base like I normally can and destroy everyone. Gotta take it slow and take out the defenses first. So let's drive up there quick. And get out of here. So I think we got two, there's two war criers in there, I think, if that's the same insignia. I wonder if I can save that ammo and take it out this way. Yep. Just conserving my ammunition as well as I can. Now I got to use it for this massive gate. Oh, gosh, this is going to take a lot. And I definitely can't, it says ramming restricted, I definitely can't take it down. Can I, level six harpoon required, oh. So I guess we gotta use this then. It might take four to five shots. So we'll be sitting here for a while. Good thing I filled up on ammo, that's for sure. So we got eight left. Yeah, it's going to take five shots. This is intense. This is the real deal. Finally. Yes, we are through. And I'm going to get my... This out so we can take out any guys we see. I'm just going to use this to thin out the crowd. Take out some of these dudes. Oh, you're throwing rocks. That's cute. Oh, is he not dead? Oh, they're not dead. I don't think at least. Oh, that guy went... Holy crap. He went flying. Right, let's take you out. I think they're dead. They should be dead. Uh, either way... Now we're in the base. Uh, I just heard someone drop down. Perfect paré. That's what I like to see. Finish you off. The nice little shiv in the back. Good stuff. Alrighty. Nothing up here, I don't think. Uh, yeah, there's nothing up here. So, what is my goal right now? Story mission, at least mission. Luck for the powder. That might be... No, not that one. I think we're doing that one. Kill the top dog, okay. Yeah, I, I've killed a top dog before, twice. Never killed a five star top dog, and I've never killed one on camera, so this will be interesting. I think we're gonna do part of this base in this episode and part of it in the next episode. So, 
this might be a good time to end this episode right here, actually. Uh, we can get through the, the base in the next episode. So, this has been interesting. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. This has been episode 11 of Mad Max. Uh, if you want to find the playlist, it's in the description. And other than that, I guess I'll see you in the next episode.